Hey guys, and welcome to our very first community spotlight for Lightforge. Now, this is something we've wanted to start doing for a while now, and we're going to try to have one up every single week from now on, so stay tuned for that. Uh, today we'll be highlighting a guild, a player, and some staff members. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So we're going to start with our guild spotlight, and first up is the Ad Infinitum Guild. Uh, sorry if I mispronounced that, by the way. And here we have footage of the guild taking down the Marsh Muck on the day of the update. What we find super cool about this is the structure and the synchronization this guild has when taking down a tough opponent. You'll notice the guild leader Jorm taking a few for the team, but there's always someone to res him when he's down. You can see how they have their lineup very traditional, their melee tanks taking aggro and blocking the Marshmuck from getting within melee range of the guild's main DPS. You'll notice the healers and ranged DPS in the back line just pummeling this boss into submission. All the while I'm invisible and just gawking how this is being done so fluidly. To me, this is what Life Forge is all about. Of course, new mechanics for bosses and such are coming later down the road, but I love the sense of community uh, some of these guilds display. It's awesome, and I can't wait to spotlight more of it in the coming weeks for you guys. Moving right along, we have our player spotlight, Trisis. So I pop into the map, and I instantly see that this guy is in trouble. He's trying to get those switches to unlock the room leading to the Root Queen boss, and he's getting swarmed. At this point, he's trapped. He's just going to have to fight his way out. It's not looking good for him. He's taking down that bat hit by hit. He uses his flash ability to hop over his first roadblock, uh, Delga Bat. He goes right out of the frying pan into the fire. He's not in a good spot right now. He's trapped once again by these aggressive mobs, desperately trying to get away, but these slide tiles are blocking his path. Thinking fast, he starts using these slide tiles to his advantage. The mobs can't hit him as well as if he were standing still when he's on these slide tiles, so he keeps on going for them, trying to get past that slide tile blockage, but also avoiding more hits as he's sliding. His situation isn't improving much. He's still swarmed, still no way out of there. His desert rock mount is taking a lot of hits, probably not going to last that much longer. And down it goes. But wait, Flash comes back off cooldown, he targets the furthest mob out, uses Flash and he's out of there, not wasting any time. Really nice play by Trisis. Last but not least, I of course wanted to cover the hide and seek event that went down on Wednesday. A super big thanks to Benjo and Nika for hosting that event. We got a lot of players active on the hunt for Nika as this goes down. All the players pour out of Gandor and start the search. It just warms our hearts completely to see this community so involved and so active within the game. You guys are awesome. We can see here the aftermath handing out the rewards to the winners. A super fun event for those that were able to make it. We really look forward to hosting more events like this in the future, planned or otherwise. So that's it for this week's Community Spotlight. Be sure to let us know what you think of these and what you want to see more of. I'm still pretty new to making these types of videos so any tips or advice on how to improve Really always appreciated. Leave a like or comment or both if you want to see more of these. Thanks a ton for watching and I'll see you next time.